stuff. There we are. There's the dense fog advisory. Anywhere from Canton all the way out past uh, Abilene heading out into West Texas. A dense fog advisory visibility of a quarter mile or less. If you're heading out in the next half an hour, <laughs> It's 1017. I don't know why you would be, but if you are, uh, use the low beams. How's that? There we are. We're clouding up tonight. We have this uh, stationary front across the area. It drifts a little north. That's the way the radar looks at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then watch it just blossom with additional activity as we head through the afternoon. Here's 9 in the morning. There's the front. That'll be the focal point for showers and even some thunderstorms. That's noon tomorrow. As it drops back to the south as a cold front at 2 o'clock, look how the rain just becomes widespread throughout the afternoon. It is on and off all day tomorrow, all night tomorrow night. There's 7 o'clock tomorrow night. There's 9 o'clock. Still have some rain around. It's finally starting to fizzle out about midnight, and then it all comes to an end overnight tomorrow night by sunrise on Sunday. There could be a couple of sprinkles around early Sunday morning, but uh, I have rain in my forecast tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, Monday, and Tuesday. And during that time frame, we could see an inch or more of rain in Dallas, Fort Worth, more to the northeast and uh, less off to the west and southwest. And then our severe weather threat. I have no severe weather in my forecast on Monday. About 40% of us will see rain on Monday. It's Tuesday. Cold front, 7 in the morning Tuesday. Look at the rain on Tuesday. It's widespread. Maybe a thunderstorm or two at 9 in the morning. A few more thunderstorms as we head through the afternoon as that cold front starts to move through the area. The front's on top of DFW at 1 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. From that point forward, that's when we have a chance of severe storms. And watch this. You can play weatherman yourself. That severe thunderstorm potential is mainly east of the Metroplex, and it's mainly in East Texas, okay, and then locations east of there, especially Arkansas and Louisiana. This is uh, 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Could have quite a situation on their hands there in Arkansas and also in Louisiana. But for us, the slight risk could move back to include the Metro. Remember, it's Friday night. This is Tuesday. We have a lot of time that will elapse between now and then. The slight risk may move back into the Metroplex on Tuesday, but otherwise you can see the, the more substantial threat of severe weather is in Arkansas and it is in Louisiana. That's Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night. For this night, the dense fog advisory is in effect. 40% of a sea rain. Rain coverage goes up overnight. 62 the low. So it's not a cold night tonight. The normal high is like 58 degrees. So we're going to be warmer than normal. The low tonight's warmer than the normal high temperature. 69. That's the high tomorrow. So it's a cloudy day. It's a wet day. Rain in the morning. Then it just becomes widespread during the afternoon. There's the next 10. Now Sunday starts with clouds and then we break out into sunshine to end the weekend. 64. There's your rain on Monday and on Tuesday. And some of those storms Tuesday could be severe, mainly in East Texas. But once again, we have several days to refine that part of the forecast. And then after that strong cold front Tuesday afternoon, boy, it really cools down back into the 50s and then even the 40s for the following weekend with a few rain showers next Sunday and Monday. And some of those, look at those low temperatures. Sunday night uh, or Sunday morning, 29. Monday morning, 30. Maybe a flurry or two in the forecast. 